Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner! In this video, we will find the equation of the line parallel to another line. Let us begin! Example number 1, let us find the equation of a line that contains the point 4, negative 2 and is parallel to the line with the equation y equals 7x plus 1. To find the equation, take note that two distinct non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if they have equal slopes. In other words, two lines are parallel if the slopes are equal. In this example, since the line that contains the point 4, negative 2 is parallel to the line y equals 7x plus 1, let us determine the slope of this line. y equals 7x plus 1 is already written in slope-intercept form. Let us recall that in y equals mx plus b, m is the slope and b is y-intercept. In y equals 7x plus 1, m is equal to 7. It means that the slope of the line that contains the point 4, negative 2, is also equal to 7. Let us use point-slope form in writing the equation of the line. We have y minus y sub 1 equals m times quantity x minus x sub 1. Let us substitute the given values. y minus y sub 1 becomes y minus negative 2 equals m becomes 7 times quantity x minus x sub 1 becomes x minus 4. On the left side, y minus negative 2 is also equal to y plus 2. On the right side, 7 times quantity x minus 4 equals 7x minus 28. Let us add negative 2 on both sides of the equation. Since 2 plus negative 2 is equal to 0, then we have y on the left side. On the right side, since negative 28 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 30, then we have 7x minus 30. And this is the equation of the line that contains the point 4, negative 2 and is parallel to the line with the equation y equals 7x plus 1. Example number 2, let us find the equation of a line that contains the point 1, 5 and is parallel to the line with the equation 5x plus 2y equals 10. First, let us express 5x plus 2y equals 10 in slope-intercept form. Let us add negative 5x on both sides of the equation. Since 5x plus negative 5x is equal to 0, then we have 2y on the left side. On the right side, we have negative 5x plus 10. Next, let us divide both sides by 2. 2y divided by 2 is equal to y. Negative 5x divided by 2 is equal to negative 5x over 2 plus 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. And we have y equals negative 5x over 2 plus 5. The value of m is equal to negative 5 over 2. It means that the equation of the line that contains the point 1, 5 has a slope negative 5 over 2. Let us substitute the given values in point slope form. y minus y sub 1 becomes y minus 5 equals m becomes negative 5 over 2 times quantity x minus x sub 1 becomes x minus 1. Since negative 5 over 2 is a fraction, let us multiply both sides by 2. 2 times y minus 5 equals 2y minus 10. 
And then on the right side, we have 2 times negative 5 over 2 times quantity x minus 1. Cancel out 2. And we are left with negative 5 times quantity x minus 1. Since negative 5 multiplied by x minus 1 is equal to negative 5x plus 5, then we have 2y minus 10 equals negative 5x plus 5. Let us add positive 10 on both sides of the equation. Since negative 10 plus 10 is equal to 0, then we have 2y on the left side. On the right side, since 5 plus 10 is equal to 15, then we have negative 5x plus 15. Next, let us isolate constant term on the right side by adding positive 5x on both sides of the equation. On the left side, we have 5x plus 2y. On the right side, we have negative 5x plus 5x equals 0. 0 plus 15 is equal to 15. And this is the equation of the line that contains the point 1, 5 and is parallel to the line with the equation 5x plus 2y equals 10. Last example, let us find the equation of a line that contains the point 4, 7 and is parallel to x-axis. In Cartesian coordinate plane, x-axis is the horizontal axis. The slope of horizontal line is equal to 0. Let us substitute the given values in slope-intercept form. y minus y sub 1 becomes y minus 7 equals m becomes 0 times quantity x minus x sub 1 becomes x minus 4. Since 0 multiplied by x minus 4 is equal to 0, then we have y minus 7 equals 0. Let us add positive 7 on both sides of the equation. Then we have y equals 7. And this is the equation of the line that contains the point 4, 7 and is parallel to x-axis. If we graph this line, this is the x-axis and this is the graph of y equals 7. And that is how to find the equation of a line parallel to another line. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.